In this chapter, we are going to tackle decision-making. Throughout the management process, we have to make choices. For example, when choosing between future alternatives, the company could choose between making or buying, buying or leasing equipment, investing, hiring staff, starting up or closing down a business line. Over the following screens, we shall see how and why we should use costing techniques in the decision-making process. Working off different operating scenarios, we shall see which costing methods should be used to solve the problems – direct costing, variable costing, or full costing. In order to make the right decision, the first step is to find the relevant cost. We say that costs are relevant if they are suited to the operational problem we face. The relevant cost is the cost that enables us to make the most reliable assessment possible of the influence that the decision to be taken may have the company's results. According to the circumstances, the relevant cost may be the variable cost, the specific cost or the full cost. A cosmetics company is launching a new lipstick. The problem is how its selling price should be calculated. What cost should be worked out to answer this question? Which is the relevant cost? To set the product selling price, the first thing you want to know is its total cost. The relevant cost for setting the selling price of a new lipstick is therefore full cost. Attracted by the new product, a distributor offers a volume superior to normal, ordinary business. Because of the size of the order, he is looking for a discount. Which is the relevant cost? This large order will not make any significant difference to the structure of the company. Shared fixed costs are not going to change. They will be covered by normal activity. The relevant cost is therefore variable cost. There are questions from two companies. Help them find the cost accounting method or methods they should use to find an answer to their problems. For the outdoor company, we first have to use full costing or absorption costing to calculate the total cost of this new business line to enable us to work out the selling price. Then, we have to calculate the specific costs of the new business line to arrive at break-even between selling price and full cost in the medium term. For the foot store company, we have to compare the financial consequences of subcontracting and operating in-house in terms of variable costs and specific costs and the effect on profitability. We therefore have to use variable costing. A customer wants to place a large order with Marine and is looking for a special price. Can this factory making decorative Marine products Sign the deal. Signing the contract gives a profit of 4,300 euros, the difference between the two contribution margins. It is therefore entirely viable to set a selling price lower than usual because of the volumes involved.